Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing an example for a UML use case diagram. We are discussing the example for railway ticket booking system. So my dear students, in the last lecture, we had discussed about the use case diagram. A use case diagram represents various requirements of the user as well as the collaboration between different processes, users and association. This use case diagram summarizes some of the relationship between the use cases, actors and the system and it does not show the order in which each of these steps are performed. So my dear students, the basic symbols that is used in use case diagrams includes a system which is represented by a rectangle with a system name. Second one is the actors which is used by an actor symbol. Use cases are represented within an ellipse or a circle and these use cases are sometimes the processes also and finally the relationship with an arrow line. So my dear student, let us consider our example. We are discussing into our example. Before that, let us discuss each of these terms. First one is the actors. Actors are something or someone that uses the system to achieve a goal and it could be a person, device or another system. And the actors are represented by any of these three ways and the third one or the third of this representation is the most popular and the common one. So when we come to an example, railway ticket booking, we are considering the railway ticket booking as a system. That's why the railway ticket booking is represented within a rectangle with its title railway ticket booking. So this is the process or the system involved and there is a customer who is represented with an actor symbol. So the second type or the second level customer or the second level actor is a railway website so website can also be termed as an actor so there are primary actors as well as secondary actors here we are describing the railway website as a secondary actor thus these secondary actors are should be represented on the right side of our figure and the primary actors are represented on the left side of the figure so next we are discussing the use cases. The use cases are represented with a elliptical shape with a user or use case name. These use cases represents the flow of the events or sequence of activities that are possible in the system. It is executed by more than one actors. So when we are considering our railway ticket booking system, our use cases include login, ticket enquiry, booking the ticket, pay amount, cancel ticket so these are the use cases associated with the railway ticket booking so next we are moving to the association so the associations are the participation of actors in a use case and they are connected by the use cases with the help of lines so here the customer as well as the railway website is associated with each of these use cases a customer is associated with login ticket inquiry book the ticket and pay amount as well as cancelling. Here the railway website admin or the railway website is associated with the ticket inquiry, book ticket, payment amount and cancel ticket. And next we consider the include relationship. An include relationship shows the dependency between a base case and an included case. When a use case is depicted as using the functionality of another use case, the relationship between the use cases is named as include or users relationship. So it can be represented by two use cases with a dotted line. Here a transaction use case is associated with the login use case and this transaction must include the login that means for accomplishing or completing the use case transaction we should include the login procedure here in our example railway ticket booking system as we mentioned there are different use cases the first use case in the customer side that is a login use case must verify the password associated with that particular customer so the login must include the verify password use case so next we consider the exchange relationship the exchange relationships are important because they show the optional functionality or system behavior so it is reverse order of an include relationship and sometimes these extents can be used in our use case diagrams here in this case 
this display login error is an extended case of login sometimes or some cases if the customer or the user encoded or entered a wrong password or a wrong data that should be displayed in the display screen so this display login error use case is an extended use case not an included use case and another also in the book ticket process or the book ticket use case the book ticket use case must include a pay amount use case so the book ticket must include the pay amount or pay amount is an included use case in the case of book ticket so these are the different levels in the use case diagram of railway ticket booking system and finally we can consider the generalization relationship in the case of generalization different classes can be derived from a parent class so this parent class child class relationship are represented in generalization and the symbol used for this representation is a triangle symbol in our example the pay amount can be subdivided into online as as well as offline so this online or offline can be generalized into pay amount procedure so this is an extended version of our use case for railway ticket booking system so my dear students hope you had understood this topic so this is how we are drawing a railway ticket booking system use case diagram so my dear students kindly go through this assignment question our assignment question is draw the uml use case diagram for the library management so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss another type of uml diagram so see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best